Galaxy Watch 5 came out in August last year, which, you know, now we have Galaxy Watch 6. But in the 5, one of the things that was promised to us was using this sensor to be able to track, uh, to predict body temperature. Well, that feature was not active for us. It was not activated for us for the longest. As a matter of fact, the only update that Samsung came out with was for women to be able to predict their cycle using skin temperatures. For us male, that wasn't a beneficial feature. For the longest, we didn't have that body temperature sensor activated for us. What most people don't realize is you could actually check your body temperature in one way, one hidden way, which is by going to your phone menu right here. You type in star pound zero star and pound and that's going to take you to this screen right here you scroll all the way down to you see sensor you click on sensor and it's going to show all the sensors on this watch so let me hope you guys can see it if you scroll you're going to see temperature that right there is 32.6 degree Celsius. You can just convert it to Fahrenheit and that will give you your body's temperature. Now obviously, it needs to be on your skin to get a more accurate reading. And plus, since the sensor is, is up here, it's not going to give you the best accurate reading. It's going to be about 1 or 2 degrees off, maybe a little more, a little less, but it does, it does need to be in your skin. Samsung just released an update that now finally gives us access to it. And to exit this page, all you have to do is keep swiping back. And you're home. Now to get to this uh, new update, all you have to go to, first you have to update your watch. And then you go to your Samsung Health, you scroll down to sleep, click on sleep and you can see right here skin temperature S that right there is what we've been waiting on for the longest now we just need a way to be able to activate this manually at our will but for now this is good it gives us our sleep uh temperature to turn this on you would have to go into your phone app to turn that on, you go into your health, and you go into your sleep, which once again is going to be showing the same thing, skin temperature here. All you have to do is go to advanced measurement and you're going to be able to turn it on here by toggling this skin temperature during sleep. You can toggle snoring. I don't snore, so I don't need that. And you can have blood oxygen. But if you want to have that reading, this is how you can get to it. Or you can do it the first way I showed you guys. I want to show you some, some cool trick, right, real quick that uh, a lot of people don't know about. Assuming your watch is dead, right? Most people don't know that they can do this. And I believe this is also having a Samsung phone. All you have to do is connect your phone to the charger. And I mean, connect your watch to the charger and connect the other end to your phone. And now your watch is charging. You can see the logo. Okay, you can see it. It's charging all from your phone. Now, most of you already know well, if you didn't know this, but you also have a way to wirelessly charge this watch using your phone. You have to go into your phone, and this is if you have a, a compatible Samsung, if you have a Samsung that can do this. It's called wireless power sharing. Turn that on. Once you turn on the wireless power sharing, all you have to do is put your watch on the back of your phone, and it's going to charge. Just like that, very simple. Obviously, this is for if you don't have a cable with you. If you have the cable, this method will probably be faster, but otherwise, this method works the same. Just as uh, it works, you know, very easy actually. 
Uh, and you can keep your wa watch band straps on it. You don't have to take it off. You can just put it on there. In this new update that Samsung just released, there's a whole bunch of new things added on to the Watch 5 that makes it more compelling to buy than the Watch 6. If you already have the Watch 5, keep it. Don't upgrade to the 6. If you don't have the 6, I mean, if you don't have the Watch 5, you should buy the Watch 5 because it's going to be cheaper and on sale over the 6. 6 is basically just a refresh of the 5. But with all the updates now, they're running basically the same Android version, the same Samsung One UI. And this watch is now so much more capable. It even automatically tracks cycling. Prior to this update, the watch would not automatically track uh, cycling. But now, yesterday I was riding on my bike and I noticed that it automatically started tr uh, tracking my cycling. Which is, which is pretty cool because I cycle pretty much every single day. Unless it rains. So make sure you guys update your watch. But thank you for watching. You know, please share if you want to. And um, please like, you know, the video. Take care.